Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Welcome back to the Unusual Ma. We are. Is this our camera kind of? Yeah, we're framed here. Okay. Uh, we are doing more multiplayer expansion comrades today. Much, much, much more. In fact. Uh, use an outside feature? Yeah, yeah. And all this. We just have a lot of farming to do here for power. That's that's the game plan here. Farm a lot of power. Beat the game. Uh, hopefully this is a continue and not a begin. We had just opened up another uh, node last episode. I don't know if we're going to go over there and do that one or continue to farm this one. I don't know if there's advantage to do it one way or the other. We're almost done with this game, guys. Final Fantasy XV. I'm excited. I have enjoyed it quite a bit, but um, I think we're almost at 130 hours now put into this game. Which uh, is probably our most, most played Steam game by far. Uh, it's definitely not my most played game ever, though. Let's see. It's up there. I played MMOs way, way longer than that. Uh, would put this game's uh, time to shame. But uh, for an offline single player games, maybe one of the, it's definitely one of the higher ones. Host of Potions is now operational. Earn elemental stones by participating in daily quests. And exchange them for status enhancing enha enchantment. Let's go. I forgot we're ghostly ghosts, man. You're the talk of the town, kid. Nah. Thanks to those photos. I can barely keep up with you. Let's do the one we haven't done yet, which is that's a level thirteen though. Good we're like team. level five or something, aren't we? We are level four. Let's uh Will you lend us a hand? Let's farm this one a little bit more. A fine choice. Do uh, just so we can get to like. Actually, we should probably try to farm to like level thirteen before we try to do that last quest. I'm kind of I'm boxed in a little too tight on the camera. Here. I always kind of do that. I leave too much um too much space on the um, or not enough space on the bottom, so I kind of it can sink down below it. Is the camera action the way of stuff here? It is kind of a little bit. Dude. Probably the best spot for it. A better spot, anyway. That probably be, it should probably be a little bit smaller, too. The hair. There we go. It's efficient. I don't really need a block. I don't know if levels actually make you stronger in this um, mode. It probably, it probably does. My sad, no, it, it definitely does, right? Otherwise, 13, well, that level 10 quest that we did would always be difficult. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Easy stuff, this quest. This quest is pretty easy. It's it's kind of long, too, though. That's the bad part. But it does get pretty good um, power for the end. I think it's like 4,000. Especially the XP's not bad, either. Let's 
say let's do a heal there, but I need it. We're gonna kill the two big ones down here. Just the two big ones. You got it? Got the other heal out there anyway. We're probably gonna have to do this quest probably like five or six more times, so grab in for it here. Yeah, I'll say five or six. Didn't even have to kill these small ones here, in fact. Stop. Focusing on them. Yeah, if you guys know a better way to go about doing this, uh, for comrades, this is obviously post since the servers went down. I'd love to know. Now I'm just kind of feeling my way out through it. It seems like the best way to go about it. Do each one of the quests once and then find an easy one to farm. And if that is the correct way and I'm just uh, doing it wrong, if there's a better way to do it, I'd love to know. I'm a student of the game. We did not pick up a, uh, an item. Can we get an item here real quick? Oh. Okay. Drinking coffee today. Drinking coffee tonight, really. It's late. It's always drinking coffee. Welcome back. Sorry for the wait. Crispy Zoo Skewers. Still looking for Kenny Crow. I'd be more than happy to cook for you again sometime. Kenny. Quite therapeutic. I actually didn't get a whole lot of XP for that, did we? I was actually pretty bad. I mean, we'd probably have to run that if we were at zero. We'd have to probably run that like 30 times just to level up. Oh, hello, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, oh, I forgot about this. Slave. Sorry. Can you tell I'm new at this? They assigned me to sentry duty. Me and only me. If anything happens, who am I supposed to tell? Actually, there have been some unsettling quakes, and I want to go let my boss know. Keep watching till I get back. Yeah, we had started this little quest at the end of the last episode, I remember. I remember, guys. Sign for Cole. Nowhere safe anymore. You're here to help, aren't you? Then get ready, cause here they come. Earn it. Don't expect me to do all the work. Saw an interesting you chart today about wait. um the amount of uh, states in the United States. Let's do this. Uh, well, but specifically, it showed what their uh, the resource they use the most to generate energy. Um, and so I would list that over top of the state, and then the amount of uh, percentage of energy uh, it got from, from using that resource. Um, and so the state that I'm from, which is Ohio, is 59% coal. Kind of surprising to me. I mean, I don't. I guess maybe it's not if I really think about it for longer than two seconds without a maybe my liberal tinted glasses, if you will. Uh, yeah, 59% is probably, yeah, kind of makes sense. In fact, it's probably, it's probably lower than, if I'm being honest, it, I would imagine it would be. An RNA same here? I'm getting like, R same to me. Can I just heal? Can you? Oh, did somebody save me? There we go. These mobs are level 16, let's look at that. Arnea, save me! Uh, there's a couple other interesting uh, states on there, though. Uh, Illinois was one of them that stood out to me. And they generate most of their electricity through um, power. 
yeah. uh, through nuclear. nuclear fire. There's a lot of coal states. A lot of coal, very few nuclear. I wish to just pull it, up, pull it back up right now. Because Ohio and Illinois are the only two I can, I can remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I can hold my own. You gotta patch up the wall. Fully got power for that. But yeah, we're still bur burning coal these days. Which, uh, it's kind of crazy. The King's Glaive couldn't take down a few measly demons. Especially with all that royal power at your disposal. At any rate, I doubt we've seen the last of them. So keep your eyes peeled and your arms at the ready. Nowadays, Lestolum's known as the City of Light. That's why we glaive. You look like he had something new to say. He, he didn't. He baited me in. Ready to get powered up? Uh, yeah, we got 5,100. We got a little bit for doing that. You know, what was RNA saying there? I was thinking about the um, our situation in the United States. Uh, 5,100, bro. Bro, what do we want to do? There's a quest figure that way. It's probably not going to be a good quest, though. Mining seems like it might be interesting. Can we just get those. All right, let's those light notes? it up. We might. Yeah, we just got 10,000 power for doing that. That's really good. And then we can go after this. We're bringing the light back to Lucis. Gives us new quest. We have to go this way to get this one. So 7,800 is what we need to unlock that. And we'll get a free, basically 6,000 back. Really good. The rest of the stuff, I mean, we'll do it. I don't think we'd necessarily need it. The Wanderer Sigil, cheer. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna wind up doing all this stuff. I think we have to do all of it to achieve. It's actually going really quick now that I'm looking at it. Uh, all right, let's jump back in to Bye now. farm. You're the talk of the town. I foresee I'm the great talk of the town. Horizon. A new daily, but we the dailies don't matter, right? So completing this quest will open up a new power supply route. Did we not finish that one? I thought we did. We'll do this one, I guess. Again. Very well. I wish you a safe return. Trying to get to level five here, guys. I just want to hit level five. Oh, a new Oracle Sigil. Oh, a game. Uh, depart. I think it'll be really cool when we, we finally transition everybody over to solar and wind. And I know there's some hurdles we have to get over to, to make that a reality. Uh, but completely renewable energy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could classify coal as a renewable resource too, because there's so much of it. But I mean, I mean clean. Uh, clean resources is really what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what the definition is of a renewable resource. I, I don't think they do classify coal as one, but for all intents and purposes, you probably could call it a renewable resource. Uh, even though it is finite, I'm sure. But, you know, the sun's finite, too. Uh, and wind, wind's probably finite as well. To some degree, right? It might be the history of the universe. Uh, is time infinite? Time's infinite, though. I don't know, maybe wind always exists? I don't know. Oh, works. Uh, this quest actually went a lot faster than last time. It's pretty nice. No, we're just spamming. We're spamming left click, guys. That's all we're doing. Just gotta grind it out. Welcome to Final Fantasy. Yeah. Until you die, and then. This guy's got a lot of HP, though. I need to focus on making a better sword. Really. I got it. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of things we got to do before we can 
They get to that kind of uh, sustainability with you know, resources. If, I don't know, I like to think it'd be done in my lifetime um, before I kick the bucket. And it, it probably will be. Uh, there just is a lot, a lot of stuff they gotta do to make it a thing. It's hard to shift paradigms, right? Exciting, though. I'm not like some kind of huge environmentalist, but in my, in my opinion, if we can. We can, I mean, the environment is important. I'm saying it's not important. Um, yeah, but my, my stance on it is kind of if you can do it, if you can generate power and protect the environment at the same time, I mean, why would you not want to do that? Seems irresponsible to not, not, to not do that. Uh, no finger pointing, you know. We do what we do. What we gotta do. Gotta move in the right way, the right direction here. And we definitely are. This is slowly. Hey, some people say not fast enough, and they they might be right about that. You know. Uh, hopefully they're not. Uh, those numbers are off a little bit. The approximations of when uh, when the point of no return happens. Let's actually pick up an ingredient this time. Yeah, bro. Oh, slow down. Just, he won't stop running from me. Guts go says to warp straight. Good advice. And that was a fairly easy quest, though. So, even though it would take longer than I wanted it to. Just a few minutes. We can just run right back in here again and do it again. Abul. Easy quest. Easy game. Carrying the damage meters there. Look at that. Carried. Glad you made it back. I'd love to get another sigil besides the healing one here. I mean, I don't mind healing my, my friends, but Rations can I also like to do some more damage hunger, here too. But only a proper meal can feed one's soul. Still didn't hit level five? Come on. I blame uh, Gabe Newell. Newell? Is that how you say uh, Gabe's last name? Gabe Newell. Gabe and Gabriel? Is Gabe Gabriel's Gabe short for Gabriel, isn't it? Oh, hang on a second. I gotta hide Firefox. I was about to check the pronunciation of Gabe Newell's uh You're the talk of the town. last name. Any bright ideas? Uh just covered my game capture. A game cast. Uh wanna open this up? What happens? We get refugees? Uh, Ernie Seipert. Sy we get one refugee. Thank you. Transmission complete. Come on in, Ernie. And a fashion sketchbook. Oh my. The clothing shop has expanded its inventory. Refugees have been safely escorted to the oldest time. Thanks yeah. again. Kind of a bomb. We're gonna have to run that one I twice. I can barely but... keep up with you. We had to do it anyway. Uh, is that? Oh, I thought that was dark and you know. Thank you. Let's Take do it. Care out there.
Gabe Anuel. Gabriel? Where's some famous Gabriels? I've got my Firefox in that can check. Depart. Famous. Gabriel. Peter Gabriel's the first thing that comes to mind, but that's not a first name. Gabriel. I guess that's kind of like a, a gen what do you call it? Gender neutral name? Unisex name? Honestly, any you can make any name a unisex name. I guess traditionally it's been a unisex name. Gabe Gabriel. I did know a guy um, growing up whose brother's name was Gabriel. He's this, uh, a this cool guy. Um, yeah. They called him Gabe. And then obviously uh, our Lord and Savior Gabe Newell. And then the games I was looking at, I don't recognize any of those names. Uh, maybe you guys will, though. I should probably read them out. I probably should have read them out. We'll take a look here in a second. Gabriello? I feel like Gabriel is the name you use, and then Gabriella becomes the... You want to make it ultra-feminine. And then Gabe is the... The ultra masculine. Gabriel is like in between. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Do I get this warp strike option if I've uh, blocked something or something? That is the case, it's probably so. Block a little bit more. It seemed to speed up the, the process a little bit there. Ghost Ghostly ghost, man. Oh, so I can play with one hand. I can't do that in Sekiro. Different, uh, different games. Slowly, gently, that is how life is taken. That is how you get the work done, James. Cool. We actually learned something here. I think it has to be during a block, though. Let's see. Yeah, the block prompt has to come up. You have to actually execute the block. Yeah. That was weird, I just hit the block there right before he came down and it, it worked, so that second part isn't true. That's the way you kill these guys quick though. The old uh, vulnerable vulnerable a weak strike. Link strike. Gabriel Bateman, American actor. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Uh, artist. Gabriel Braga Nunes, a Brazilian actor. Gabriel Brine, an Irish actor. Gabriel Casica, 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 Casi. Uh, a Paraguayan, a Paraguayan, Paraguayan. Somebody from Paraguay, a Paraguayan. Novelist. Uh, Gabrielle Chevalier, French writer and novelist. Dinner is when there's a lot of them here. I don't. I go on and on for a little bit. One I don't recognize any of these. An these Gabriels, so. though. Gabriels. Gabrielas. Athletes. Like maybe I got a better shot there, but. Yep. Gabriel Barbosa. 
Argentine footballer. Soccer player, right? For the few Americans out there, like myself. Things are finally starting to brighten up around here. Canadian model, Gabriel Aubrey. Here is a visit now that I'm back in town. Literature Nobel. Oh, Gladio showed up. Sweet. What up, Gladio? I'm sure somebody's got one that I've probably heard of. Those photos. Okay. The Crown's guard sure has been keeping busy. Court barely shows his face around town. Guess that means there's intel out there that needs gathering. Uh, I mean, you're right about that. Good to see you. You're right about that, sir. Uh, we got 3,800. Do you just want to spend it here? Sure. We've got the power. Uh, we got a new hunt, a secret experiment. Bye now. I really wanted to save up like 9k, but there's a quest here. Ready to get powered up? Where's the quest? Was there actually a quest? Are we supposed to go here to do a quest? I have to unlock that though. Thanks again. Hi. Most welcome. Is he the quest? The name Angel Guard first appeared in the. Is that? Oh, there's the quest. A comrade's quest is now available. Take control of four familiar faces in the special mission. You will not earn experience from the comrade's quest, but you will keep any spoils you earn in combat. I foresee great things on your horizon. Uh. Oh, okay, we can go to this other hub, too. Oh, I see. Let's try this level 8 one for 3,700, or what was the one we were doing this one? Level 5. Let's try this one. A fine choice. I wish you a safe return. Gabe Norwood. Filipino basketball player. Very popular royal name. Yeah, I don't know any of those Gabriels. Is Gabe Newell even on here? Bro, if he's not on this list. Gabe. He's not on the list. Is it NU? NEW? Not on here. Oh, it could be Gab. Gabriel. Not on here, guys. An outrage. Uh, support. I remember when I first found out about Steam. Um, and Steam is nothing really that special today. Like we're kind of like, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Before Steam was a thing, um, and now there's tons of alternatives too. Uh, when I found out about it, it, it had been around for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I was blown away. But it was a thing that I could have been doing to uh bro. You need to be a caster here. Huh? Should be real quick here. They do die fast. Uh kinda take for granted the online store though. And that's all they are, is they're just a just a store. Yeah. Seems trivial, but nobody had like a central location that we could digitally download. Basically every game. And I don't know why there were so many people that adopted it when it first came out. Because there was probably competitors and I just don't know them off the top of my head. That were trying to do the same thing at the same time, but I'm sure it had to do with the uh, the API or uh, the, all, a lot of developers develop or wanted to develop uh, with Steam in mind. Uh, just the platform's good, right? Like if you even look at Epic, Epic Games, it's not. Bro, we just died. Or some of the other stores. I mean, they they can't hold a candle to what Steam is today. Oh, give me up, bro! Joining the fray in ten seconds. That was alright. 
Um, so yeah. I can't really tell you what they were doing. Uh, or what they were doing at that time. Uh, that made them basically the, the winner. Uh, and I don't think people really expected it to be what it was. Or how much money got pumped into there. It was going to get pumped into Christine. Uh, when they did, now we've got like everybody and their mother trying to make a store nowadays. And it's fair. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad about it. I was actually kind of mad about it in the beginning. Uh, when Epic Games showed up and it was like... And the Epic, Game, Epic Games was not the first company to come in and, and challenge being an a, uh, online retailer provider. And the reason why it's annoying is because as a gamer, uh, if they start having ex exclusivity, it was, that's really what was the annoying part, was the exclusives. Quest aborted? No, bro, I didn't abort that. Uh, it was too hard. Me to level up again. It failed. Uh, it's the fact that I would have to download something else, another storefront, right? Or you know, and really all they are is they're just web apps too, essentially. Uh, they're just web pages that you buy stuff from. So I'd have to download and store this thing on my machine, and then, you know, now all of a sudden I'm I'm working towards achievements on a different platform and different. No, it's just a whole other thing I have to go through. Uh, so it was kind of annoying at first. You're the talk of the. I can barely keep up with you. We have to keep farming this one, guys. Too hard. Very well. Do be careful. Probably till seven, level seven. Uh, so yeah, it was annoying at first. It still is kind of annoying. In fact, I wasn't gonna. I had refused. I told myself that I wasn't gonna take part in this. Uh, and I'm not against them having a second store. It was the exclusive thing, right? We were creating these artificial... And I'm still kind of annoyed about this, though. Creating these artificial walls on PC that just don't need to be there. They're trying to turn it into the uh, the video game market. Uh, console market. And it's, it's artificial and that's... Uh, but, you know, the more and more I think about it... Okay, so... Let's say you're a publisher, right? And I'm not saying that this is good for gamers. It's not. Oh, by the way. I mean, ultimately, they can make it good for gamers, but I don't think it's going to wind up that way. Uh, it's probably good for devs. And you know what? It's actually probably good for gamers, too. Yeah. Uh, and let me clarify why that is. Or why I think it is, and I could be wrong. This is my take on it. Uh, so if you're a publisher and you got to sell games, right? You gotta sell your game, you publish a lot of games. Now all of a sudden making a store kinda makes sense. Uh, because if you got twenty titles that you, you publish, and you know, they're you do a lot of business with them. Well let's say you own a game like Fortnite that has a ton of people that play. Such as Epic Games. Um a little trick didn't work there. Uh you know, why would I want to pay Steam, or Valve, specifically, a boatload of money to uh, house my game, if I can spend some money and uh, all the sales and stuff from the game go to me, the publisher? Right, because Steam takes a cut from the developers when they... Uh, and that was, you know, the, the ammunition that Epic Games... Uh, was working with when they first released their platforms is that they were just doing it to help the developers make more money, which they were doing. Uh, they were they were charging or they were taking like 10% where Steam takes like 25 or something. But those aren't the numbers, so I'm not saying those are the numbers, but it was something like that. Uh, they were going to give the developers more money, and so when they control that environment, then uh, you know they can control when they want to make things on sale. Uh, they're making more money so they can probably sell the games for cheaper if they wanted to. Because um, the publisher, you know, directly benefits from the developer's success. Right? So they're paying the developer more money, so more money's going back to the publisher. The publisher owns the platform, and uh, thus the cycle repeats. The gamers win, because now they can, you know, they're making more money, they can make more games, 
and they can sell the games that they're making cheaper because they're making more money. In practice, I think that's how it's actually going to work out, even though uh, Skeptic of me just ultimate is going to wind up being two places that are going to do the same, have the same kind of practice. Uh, but it should cause Steam to be more competitive, and I think it has. Steam's actually gotten better over the last couple of years. And uh, Epic Games still has a long way to go, but they're relatively new. You know. And there's a lot of good competitors. So now I'm, I'm open to the idea of these um, these store platforms where I have to have these, I don't know, 5 gigabit launchers or whatever. Um, it's not a big deal, right? 5 gigabytes to to have like this competition across stores where there's going to be some crossover too and sometimes some places are going to sell games for cheaper right at different times so if i really want to play a game okay this one's selling it for five bucks this one's selling it for 40 and it's a no-brainer where i'm going to go buy it uh it creates competition there. it's good so i'm on board that being said i still use steam almost exclusively xbox game pass has impressed the crap out of me though if you guys aren't using the xbox game pass uh you should definitely go definitely go spend the dollar check out the trial uh which lasts a month and i mean even even though i don't actually even use it that much like i played um today's episode of my friend pedro that we steamed Glad streamed we steamed steamed hams uh we streamed my friend and I streamed on Mon or on Saturday for, for one off Monday that should be up today on the, the channel. I mean, I played through that whole entire game for for free, right? Think of it like a rental service, right? It wasn't free, obviously. I had to pay for the service, but it's really good, really good. Uh, I saw Fallout seventy six came out on it the other day, which is cool. Um, it sounds like Xbox is really trying to get into the game, the software industry, more than the hardware industry. You're the talk of the town, uh, kid. Thanks to those photos. I foresee great things on your horizon. Good luck. It actually makes sense, right? Because they don't, the companies don't really care about the the consoles, right? Uh, they don't care if you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation. They want you to play on those things so you can. You'll pay them the money for the software, and they can take a cut of the software. Because that's really where they make their their money at here, not not from selling you a console for five hundred bucks. Because if you think about it, that like people Thank are upset you. that the new PlayStation is going to be five hundred bucks. And uh, my buddy and I were talking about this the other day, actually on probably on this recording that went up for my friend Pedro. Uh, it's a it's a high powered computer for five hundred bucks, cheap. Uh, they're losing money on the deal, right? And so I imagine Xbox is kind of looking at a company like Valve and the amount of money that Valve brings in probably dwarfs. And I don't know if Valve is required to release their numbers. Let's, see. Let's just kind of take a look here. Valve profits 2020, uh, 2019, probably. I mean, you definitely, I don't know if uh, it's a public company. Earn estimated 4.3 billion in 2017. Um, Running a store, right? It actually is not that much money in 2017. Uh, I'd be surprised if that number is true. Uh, I bet it's way more than that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think I think Microsoft is trying to pivot into that... Into the game space, because they make way more money on games. Uh, yeah. It just makes sense, right? We're kind of shifting into the mobile world where people can... As much as I hate playing on phones, you can play... I was talking about Steam Link, I think, on this... This, uh, uh, this playthrough the other day. Which I can play any PC game. Stream any PC game from my PC to my phone and play it on the go. It's not something I would really use, or I don't want to do, but if I, I was in the city... I take the bus to work every day or something, or I don't know. I worked in a toll booth where I had a lot of free time on my hands to play games. I absolutely would be using the uh, crap out of it. And there's a ton of people in that situation where they have a lot of free time at work or uh, have long uh, commutes to and from work. 
about this game. So yeah, uh, the mo as much as I hate it, the mobile mobile gaming community is thriving. I don't hate it. It's just put resources somewhere; they're going to come from somewhere. Else, right? There's always so much talent that can go around to develop uh, different things. So mobile is going to be going to be part of the conversation for a long time. It's fine. There's plenty to go around. I guess. Uh, I guess you can tell I'm a little salty. But, uh, so yeah, Microsoft X Cloud. I was kind of confused. I thought it was more like Stadia. Talk about this a little bit. Uh, it's actually more like uh, Steam Link. To where you can basically stream your PC games from Xbox Game Pass onto your phone or tablet or smart device. Anywhere. So think of it like they're basically turning Xbox anyway, is turning their platform, their Xbox, into like a switch without selling you a new console. You basically get a switch with all the every game type uh, available to you that you would ever want to buy. Uh, but you have to have a PC though, and that's still the drawback. You have to own a PC, and they must know something about the PC market where they probably think there's enough PC gamers to support that economy. They're still releasing an Xbox Series S, right? Series S or X. They're not leaving money on the table. That's where I thought I saw a Seaman uh, green screen there. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. Don't know what they're going to do, but... They definitely seem to be in the software market now, which is good. Uh, and the, you know, the Sony PlayStation's in the software market too. They're just uh, they're going. They have a different strategy, right? Their strategy is to produce and pay for exclus exclusivity uh, to sell consoles, but it's not really to sell consoles. It's so that they can sell you more software. Welcome back. So they can make more money. I don't know. It's cool, man. We got XP boost. Rations can satisfy one's hunger, but only a proper meal can feed one's soul. Gotta feed the soul. I gotta feed my soul. I gotta have my tricks. No, I gotta have my kicks. I think kicks are... Uh, do they still sell kicks? I don't think... I think they still sell tricks. Kick cereal is uh is gone. You're the talk of the town. I can barely keep up. Good luck. To uh, let's see how much power we got. What do you say? Uh, do we, was 8k what we wanted? I thought it was like 9k. We have to complete the quest to do that one. Uh, we could do this one here. Transmission complete. We power back in at 6k. Got the refugees. Cool. Uh, we do have to go up this way, so we might as well. We're bringing the light back to Lucis. We might as well, Captain Haven, Captain Haven. Arms for Maldacchio. Malevolent Malboro. Okay, new quest available. Uh, we'll do all these two. Well, we have to do this one, the Malevolent Malboro. We got two K. There's a cheap one we can un unlock real quick. I'm not going it. Nope. Say hi to your pals. Will Interesting you system they've designed here. I initially when we first started playing it, I kind of hated it, but I kind of enjoying unlocking stuff. A bit honest. I have these over here. Those are way more difficult. Was this a special quest? Bag of clothing. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. Let's keep let's keep on this route here until we get to level six. Very well. I wish you a safe return. A lot of grinding to be done here. A whole lot of grinding. Um. Yeah. Ultimately, I think it's going to be good for gamers.
the whole thing. You know, the nice thing about having uh, the uh, these these different stores competing for um, user time is they tend to give away a lot of free stuff uh, to compete with Steam. Uh, a lot of the free games they've given away so far, like Epic Games, uh, for example. Uh, I had most of those games. In fact, I might have had all of them. Uh, yeah. Kind of a bummer, but... I still went and got them, though. Uh, you know, it's a free game. That I own twice, in two different digital stores. Cup ones. I think a, a couple of the, the uh, ones I got that were... I didn't have was... Uh, one of them... Zoo Tycoon was one, I think. Uh, but Zoo Tycoon is on Game Pass. Is Zoo Tycoon on there? I'm tempted to open up and see the free games I got from Epic, uh, Epic Store. Uh, by free, I mean games that weren't... that were, you actually had to pay for that weren't... You know, like Fortnite's on there, obviously. And Magic's on there as well. Uh, those are free-to-play games. Uh, Thimbleweed Park was one of them I got from there. And I've... Uh, Thimbleweed Park is like, uh... Uh, and I don't want to mischaracterize it. It's... It's one of the, uh, one of those old-timey, uh... Although it's a newer game, it came out in 2018, I think. Newer, right? Uh, it's like a point-and-click adventure. Uh, we have to point on stuff on the screen, and... But it's done really well. Um, I was never one of the people that played Monkey Island back in the day. Uh, but it's it's kind of like Monkey Island. In fact, it might be the same people that um, made Monkey Island. I, look, but I think I think that is the case. Uh, I did watch a playthrough. Uh, Sips I watched Sips do a playthrough when it first came out, and uh, it was really good. Like, I watched every single one of those episodes intently. Uh, but it's been so long since I watched that. Uh, that to sit down and play would be it'd be fun. I don't remember. I remember kind of what happens, but I don't remember any of the puzzles or anything. So yeah, so that was free. Can't complain about that. That's cool. Thimbleweed Park. I think they did a sequel. A sequel too recently, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Let's see. I want to see if Thimbleweed Park was made by the people that made uh, Monkey Island. Thimbleweed Park. Developer. Terrible toy box designer Ron Gilbert. Yeah, so they came out with a new one in 2020 called A Thimbleweed Park Mini Adventure. Dolores. Dolores was the what main character. Uh, let's look up Ron Gilbert. Ron. Because he may be the guy who did uh, work for Monkey Island. LucasArts, post LucasArts. One can't wage war on an empty stomach, so eat up. Created many successful adventure games at LucasArts, including The Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, Lil Chuck's Revenge. He left the company to start humongous entertainment at LucasArts, producer Shelly Day. Uh, Go response for games such boy, as Putt Putt, know. Fatty Bear. Sloucher. Went by the name of Noctis. You ever run into him? That is I know to say, the guy. before he went missing. Picky a son of a gun this side of the Sigillin. And it ain't just food. That boy wanted all his weapons custom made. So I go to the trouble of setting up shop for him. And I don't get a word of thanks. Reggie didn't spoil that boy rotten. Uh, Maniac Mansion. Uh, which is what I'm familiar with. I played a little bit of that when I was younger. 
uh, on the Ninten Nintendo Entertainment System. A ton of games. But anyway, that game was free, which is his latest uh, his latest work. Uh, just kidding. It's not. No, just kidding. It is. Uh, outside of a mini adventure that completely free release during the COVID-19 lockdown. Oh, maybe that's what I got. The mini adventure. It was free during the uh, COVID-19 lockdown. I think I got Thimbleweed as free as well. Through, so uh, long. I don't know. I have, to I have to take a look at that. Well, this is to go to the next area here. I'll see. Man over here. There's somewhere. Sir? Hey, you there. You got a sec? You see, I work at the gas station just outside of town, and I was hoping you could check up on it for me. I would go myself, but I overheard some hunters talking about... Yeah, I got it. It's probably like a level 8 quest or something. Fun. Free. It's free real estate, guys. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mind playing that Thimbleweed game. Uh, that's the thing, is right now I have so many... Like, I feel like I have so many... I feel like I have no games, but I have a ton of games. And especially if I play them the way like we're playing uh, Final Fantasy XV all the way through. I mean, I could play games till I turn 100 and never, never scratch the surface. It's a good time to be a gamer. Uh, unless you don't have games, but... See, that's the thing, like, even if you don't have games, like, you don't have a big library of games, there's a ton of really good free games out there. Like, I mean, not meme in here, Fortnite. I mean, you can play Fortnite for free. You can play Magic for free. You can play Hearthstone for free. You can play uh, a ton of different MOBA games for free. You can pick. Uh, PoE's free. Um, although, I don't know, PoE might be a little bit more, um, uh, more egregious than the other ones that I listed there, as far as their, their free nature. I haven't played Fortnite a whole lot. The card games, um, you can build okay decks and win with them. Uh, it does help to pay for cards, though, but... You can always grind out everything in that game if you really want to. Uh, which is what I used to do with Hearthstone. Like, I don't think I... I may have bought, like... When I played Hearthstone, which I got Legend in. Um, season 3, maybe? Uh, yeah, I, I think I maybe only bought, like, 5 packs. That was the only money I spent on the entire the entirety of the game. I think I bought some of the um, one or two of the uh, expansions that came out where you would get to do the. Oh, this guy is going everywhere. I can't stop him. I was clamoring for ingredients. I got some meat. That was weird. Uh, Yeah, I never had to spend any money on that game. And managed to get le Legend on it, so... Uh, those games are grindable. You can grind out the cards. It just takes time. At this point, it might be really difficult to do because the game's been going for so long. Uh, that... Like, I used to play it. You know, I'd do the dailies every day. But it first came out for years and years and years. Well, a couple of years. You know how, sir. I just want to get back in business. All right. Back in business he is, I guess. He, he didn't give us anything, did he? Problem. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so there's ton, tons of free games. Play. Like I said, Epic, the Epic Game Store ideas? gave away... They gave away C Civ 5? Civ 5? Civ 5 or 6? I think it's 5. Um, six is coming out sometime in the near future. Uh, they gave away Grand Theft Auto uh, and other games as well. Yeah, 
And there's free games on Steam like uh, that you could play. Tons of free games. Pretty dope. Pretty good time to be a gamer. You do have to own a PC though. That's uh, where do we want to go? We'll go. We've got the power. I know where I really wanted to go. Let's unlock one of these. All right, let's light it up. Expand its inventory, okay. We've got the power. We're just it's going down the line here, really. We're bringing the light back to Lucis. Fourteen thousand to go this way. You get what back? Four thousand, so ten thousand basically. Schmog on the water. I'd like to get these ones here. What quest is this one? Maraudering Idgar Stormer. Bye now. Let's see what quest that is. You're the talk. I foresee great things on your horizon. Level 14. We failed this one, so. Should probably continue on this one to level up. Back to that route. A fine choice. Do so much grind. We'll do this one, uh, this last one here, and then we'll, we'll close the episode. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I've got I've got a ton of games. Uh, we didn't want to rest, or, but even if I was just playing those free games alone, like you could play. I think you could play League of Legends till time, and still never never get diamond. Never get diamond. Uh, let's check. I check our level. I don't think we got quest for doing that gas station or uh, XP for doing that gas station. I probably did advance the story though. But... I mean, funnily enough, this is probably what we're going to be doing all next episode, too. At least for probably half of it. Anyway. Farming the old... Farming the old power. These guys get a free shot of me like that. Are our uh, comrades actually leveling up, too? Cool if they were. I get some, uh. Really hoping to get a knockdown there. I think it's C to switch targets on. I'm, I'm actually, it's really not that bad of a key. I was about to complain about the positioning. There's a lot of people out there who, uh. are really comfortable, uh, rebinding their keys. I hate doing it. Because once I get a little muscle memory going for the game, um, and I'd like to think the developers kind of know how the key should be set up. Usually they're pretty good uh, after you play around with it for a while. Uh, but if I rebind it after playing it uh, with it for a little bit, it feels awful. It is not C though. C does not change charges. Uh, we're having a real struggle on this, with uh, this guy here. Yeah, but I know some gamers just sit down. Some gamers. I know a couple gamers. Uh, some gamers will uh, sit down and just rebind their keys immediately. And Yeah, you know, they kind of know what they're looking for out of every game. They, they don't want the character to move a certain way. Uh, I'd like to say it's because I'm more fluid, but it's probably because I'm more... Reliant on the developers to, to do it. 
figure it out for me what's supposed to be the correct way or the best way. It's not a trust issue too. It's partially just lazy. I just want to play the game. Oh, good. Oh, I don't know why that uh, exit menu keeps popping up. Because I'm hitting eight, zero. Oh, that's why. That's by F1. Pick up any items, it's probably okay. I suppose we we're gonna see Kenny, uh, regardless what happens, if we do all the uh, the nodes or all the uh, quests, he shows up in one for sure, and he'll randomly show up in one of these ones. Um, and it says randomly, but I bet it's a combination of some food items. We'll give you the. Uh, the Kinney. The Kinney spawn. Oh. Do a quick uh, power spin too. Let's give us the uh, same three guys, don't they? Cool. Again, carrying the damage. And the defense. Uh, not the support though. Welcome back. Dinner is served. It's hard to recreate the taste of home, but I make do with the seasonings I have. Exception boost. On items. I'll try to do a straight strength weapon here at some point. I, th I still think we have a ton of episodes of this to do, so uh, we got we got time to adjust and. Adjusted manage. You're the talk of the town, kid. I can barely keep up with good luck to you. Actually, want to do a quest here. What's up? Uh, we have 5,500. 30,000 to get into that. That's free though. The warrior sigil. Free. Uh we could check this this here. Snakes on a plane? That Transmission works. complete. Snakes on the drown plane. Clean for 2k? No. Gobbled up all the real cheap ones here. There's one for twenty six. Thanks again. Let's see, Let's see what this last quest is. Let's see if it's will you join? A level six. Okay, level seven. We might be able to do this one. Slightly more XP. Probably slightly more power. Yeah, slightly more kill. Good luck to you. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode of Final Fantasy 15 Comrades. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for more. More comrades, man. I'm so dirty. Look at a dirty face. Dirty. All right, guys. See you next time. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.